So you're dying. So you're dying. So you're dying. So you're dying. Ms. Grant. It's called systemic sclerosis. And, uh, well, my doctor says I have a matter of months at best. Everything pretty much hardens. My skin, my organs, all of it. At some point soon, my life will just be pain. And there's no solution. So that's why I'm here, to get some morphine from you, <clears throat> so I can... Well, that is what we do here. Help you pass on in the manner you'd like. With dignity, and in a way that really honors your life. And morphine's great. If I didn't have an addictive personality, I'd be on that like whales on plankton. They love that shit. Oh yeah, I did morphine for like a year in college, and to this day, I still owe the Chinese triad $10,000. Now we could just sell you morphine, but, and I'd understand if you're not into this, but we have something called the death penalty package. You get last rites, a last meal of anything you want. We, we arrange everything. Think of us as wedding planners, but you know, for your marriage to the afterlife. Hmm, that actually does seem like a nice way um, to... Could you excuse us for just a moment, please? Are you seriously trying to upsell her suicide, dude? What? The idea just came to me. I mean, we gotta pay our bills, buddy. Grapes don't pay for themselves. They are from Whole Foods. Exactly. My monthly mortgage payment costs less than those grapes. You know how I had brain surgery last year? They removed one of my amygdala because it was overstimulating my endocrine system. Well, I don't have insurance, and it still costs less than those grapes. My granddad was a shipping magnate. He used his fortune to help finance the Iranian coup in 1953. You know, when the CIA overthrew the Shah. Guns, planes, tanks, you name it. He wanted to open up Iran to his shipping business. Well, I'm pretty sure it didn't cost less than those grapes, but if the difference is more than a dollar, I'll eat a bag of shit. Okay, okay, I see your point, but can we maybe upsell it to something that's a little less icky? Hey, man. I'm on board with anything that brings in the Benjamins. Stacks on stacks on stacks. Now, the, the death penalty package is certainly fine, but let me ask you this. Are you pro or anti-American foreign policy? Well, I'm not a fan of America's imperialist policies, and I wish we would just stay out of the Middle East for once. Although, I think we can all agree that ISIS is a real problem. Not to mention the- Let me stop you there. This is Abu Omar al-Shashani, the military chief of ISIS in Syria. He's a veteran of the Russo-Georgian War and previously led the rebel group Katibat al-Muhajirin. He's a bad guy, no doubt about it. A genuine war criminal. And our operatives can place you near him. Near enough to blow him up. Wearing a vest made of C4 that we will outfit you with. So what do you say, soldier? Are you willing to die for your country? Dan, I, I still don't feel good about upselling that woman. I spent every lunch hour in the bathroom just bawling my eyes out. Earlier today in Syria, the leader of ISIS, Abu Omar Ashashani, was assassinated in a suicide bombing. The State Department has no current lead. Oh, dry your eyes with these. You big baby.